Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. How like who on earth is this? Kez here. Yes, I'm blonde now for the summer. And today's video is actually going to be an everyday makeup routine. Honestly, like most of this year I have not worn makeup every day. But ever since going blonde I have, it's only been like a couple of weeks now. But I feel, you know, more put together when I have makeup on with this hair color. So let's get into what I do. It is summer and I live in New York City and it's extremely humid, but I would not trade it for the world. I prefer summer over winter any day of the week and that's just me. So um, this routine, since I have oily skin and I'm in a humid climate, I'm using all powders for my foundation routine and you'll see what I do to achieve it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and thank you so much. Stay tuned. So, um, I already filled in my brows and I already applied my primers. So I'm using the e.l.f. Oil Control Primer Mist. Um, hoping you guys can see that. And the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. So the primer mist I use all over and then the poreless face primer I put on my cheek area because that's where I have larger pores. I got both of these from e.l.f. because I'm a part of e.l.f. Beauty Squad so thank you so much to e.l.f. Um, so since I have my primers and I like my primers to kind of settle into my skin, um, now I can apply powder. So what I do first is I take my Laura Mercier um, Medium Deep Powder. And I live in New York City again in the summer, so you're gonna hear music, you're gonna hear ice cream chucks, you're gonna hear everything. And I'm taking my e.l.f. powder brush, I've had this for centuries, love this brush. Um, and I'm just gonna apply this all over my face the same way you know you do um, with liquid foundation for oily skin, I do with powder as well. So I'm just taking a translucent powder first and applying it all over my face with a flat powder brush. And this is just gonna, um, help everything last longer the same way you're kind of setting your primer I'm gonna pull out a mirror so let me do that set myself up here it's been so long since I filmed the last video I filmed was the uh, makeup Shayla and Colourpop collaboration video and I will be using the palette today, the Perception palette, because it is really bomb. I've been using it a lot. Um, I can't believe it. I'm finally like going somewhere with this Laura Mercier powder. I had it since last year. You guys have probably seen the video. I will link it um, in this powder, but I'm finally getting somewhere. My lace is like looking crazy. Not just, no. I don't um, glue it down anymore. All of that is all over my skin so as you can see now my face is slightly more matte because I applied that translucent powder so now I'm going to take I'm sorry for all the packaging being kind of dirty my bare minerals pair the uh, bear pro um, powder in truffle 29 um, I hit pan on this powder I do really like it I got it back at gem beauty New York 2017 um, yeah, but I still use it and it's great so this is gonna serve as my foundation it has the color um, and this is like my summer color once it gets summer I'm more on the red side I don't know if you guys can tell I guess I don't know if I'm neutral I like golden colors on me but I am more red in the summer so truffle definitely works and I'm just gonna apply it all over my face kind of not underneath the eyes though because I'm gonna apply concealer under my eyes I do have like a blemish here but I don't really take the time to like apply concealer to that because yeah no usually in the morning I'm just trying to make sure my skin looks semi more put together and like more even but it doesn't have to be 100% at least not for me for every day So now that my powder is on, I'm just going to bring that down to my neck so I don't look cray cray. I think it looks pretty even, right? Pretty much like my color. I am going, I think I got powder on my hair. Shoot. I definitely did. 
Let's struggle. See, blonde hair is just so. Oh, I'll wipe that off later. Anyway. Um, now what I do is I'm going to go into this concealer that I'm about to use. It's something that I used to use. This is the first ever concealer that I use. I use this NYX concealer in a jar. It used to be called in Nutmeg. And now they call it NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the same color Nutmeg. When I say I love this stuff for cleaning up my brows and for under my eyes. Using, um, this is a Luxie 211 concealer brush. You see it? It's like slightly lighter than my skin, but like the darker version of like a salmon concealer, which is perfect. I just go under my eyes and I try not to tug my eyes. I see like since I'm getting older now, I'm getting like these lines under my eyes. And it's like creeping me out. So I try not to tug. I'm just like spreading the product out just to brighten up the eye area and then I go in with my finger and I literally just press it in this just helps to melt the product perfectly under my eyes and just brighten my eyes and also on my lid I'm gonna take this is actually a contour brush I believe from Real Techniques I'm just gonna take this and yes, this is a Tarte product, but I've had it forever and it's a Tarte Time Shayla collection, the palette. Um, but also I just don't throw out makeup to throw it out, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, <laughs> the banana powder in this. I just usually reach for this because it's just it's a compact. I also contour from this palette and um, it's quick. I don't have to it's not a loose powder. So I'm just gonna place this powder underneath my eyes. Just to set that concealer on my lid. Um, then rid of my nose. Then I'm gonna go in and contour using the contour color in the same palette. And I like to use like it's a this is a crown brush, it's like a flat, um, what do you used to call this? Like a flat stipple brush almost. Yes, it's I use it like every day, so yeah, that's why there's powder on it. Um, and I'm just going to bring some dimension into my face because, you know. And I like to put my contour now, like I used to put it right where I do see the darkness on my cheek already. But now I put it like literally I cut my cheek with it to bring more definition into my face because I have big cheeks. So, I'm just going to show you guys. So I start up here. to bring this down here I usually use another brush for the side of my nose but I didn't bring it so let's just gonna wing it guys with this big brush so a little definition to the nose nothing crazy okay hope that looks good to you guys okay so depending on how much time I have left, I will either just stick some gold highlight in the sun, um, in my inner tear ducts on the bridge of my nose and my cheeks just to bring that extra little pop and glow. But if I have a little bit more time, I'll do a little eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take my Makeup Shayla and Shayla X Colourpop Perception Palette. Um, still love this stuff. It is bomb. Like, And what I'm going to do is I use like two colors tops during the week. I'll be a thousand percent honest. So I'm just gonna take my fluffy um, Sigma Diffuse Crease E38 brush. I will go for a TF today because it's gold, honey. And oh no no, sorry. I will start. Sorry. I like to start with the crease. I'm gonna take my E39 brush and I'm gonna take Revenge. No, no I'm gonna take Thick, the orange. Because the revenge is more of a brick color, thick is more of a orange. So I'm going to take thick. I'm just going to blend this into my crease. 
And then I'm gonna take that fluffy brush and TF because these shimmer shadows are super pigmented. I'm just gonna dust it on my lid. And kind of blend it up into the crease a little bit. So I don't know if you guys caught that because my camera cut off, but so I just brushed that gold onto my lid with a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to take this angled, what is this called, mini angled brush from Luxie and I'm going to take TF, which is this color I didn't show you guys before, and I'm bothered, which is the lightest, like, goldish, white gold color, and pop that in my tear duct. Like, I'm all about the glow for summer. This is really not about being like a crazy, you know, in-depth makeup look. It's just about having that nice little makeup glow. And again, depending on time, I may put on eyeliner, I may not. I don't have any eyeliner in front of me, so I'm just not going to put it on today. I'm just going to take some mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. I feel like I just support makeup Shayla. You know, this is her um, collab with Maybelline. And I'm just going to apply this to my bottom and top lashes. I do not wear lashes every day. I barely wear lashes, to be honest. I could have put some on for this video, but it's neither here nor there. This is my legit everyday makeup. I'm kind of going out of weird order just because the camera cut off on me, but I do do one more step with powder. I take airspun powder. And honestly, I'll do this either before or after I contour. Like, wow, this noise is blowing mine. But I take that powder. I actually like the scent of Airspun. And I'm just going to put it all over my face. This is just going to help further mattify my face and keep it matte longer. I'm just going to... Some people do it in a circular motion. I just like, I don't know. I do whatever works. And I really like spread it out. I don't want it to look too heavy, especially for work. I don't want it to be like, bam, you know? Final thing is the lips. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. What is this? Lip lacquer, I believe. It's been a while since I thought about the name. And praline, I use this literally all the time. I'm just gonna apply it all over my lips. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of Fenty um, lip gloss in the center of my lips, just because I like that extra new glossiness. This is to clean up the stuff underneath my eye with a Q-tip. But that is pretty much the finished look, guys. 